a perfect uh, example uh, which illustrates quite well what I want to say is uh, at the poster session I have seen a, a very modest study from southern Turkey about the genome of the normal being. They just uh, studied the normal genome with all the genes etc. And it's, it's coming from southern Turkey and it's uh, one of the regions where the original beans were growing. And this is a little example showing as an element if we can take that up and really make use of it, then we can develop a better bean in the end. I'm sure there are dozens of such bean papers, but putting them all together will bring the success. And this brings me to the idea that actually we have so much knowledge about uh, the science developing in smaller and bigger labs all over the globe, hundreds and thousands of good projects. And what are we going to do with it? We need to translate that into a modern agriculture. In all methods, whether genetic engineering or not, or soil science, it doesn't matter. It just should lead somehow to something which is developing modern agriculture. And I'm sure when we do that in a more systematic way, we will be able to produce enough food for the future generations. The pessimism, I don't participate in this pessimism that we will not have enough food. It's the scientific progress demonstrated here in this conference too, which will lead to a much better agriculture in future with more food production, whatever we need. This is called Global Conference on Plant Science and Molecular Biology it is really interesting and uh, I enjoyed the conference. I met with uh, many researchers across the world and uh, it's a really enjoyable conference. Thank you very much. Yes, so being here in this conference is a good experience and here I, I'm here, I'm just networking and hearing people and they are coming from different places and they are sharing their experiences, their research. So I take it as a good opportunity to network and to present my work on this forum and to learn from others also. So there are a number of eminent scientists are there who are sharing their experience on the different uh, you know, aspects of the plant biology and they all are trying that how together we can improve the plants and uh, solve the problem, the food problem in, in the world. It is a pleasure for me to attend uh, this conference on global plant sciences and molecular biology. And uh, I think this is my first time to attend this meeting in Valencia. And uh, uh, this is the second day of the conference. First day was very good. We have different topics uh, on plant physiology, plant biochemistry, and also the molecular biology and a lot of uh, things about uh, the GMOs. And uh, I think we had a lot of good interaction with uh, several groups. There were many, many scientists from different countries. My attendance to this conference is really excellent and, and uh, memorable. And uh, to bring this back to, to the Philippines, I will, I will tell my, coll my colleagues to attend the third conference that will be scheduled in Rome next year. And I think that's my impression in attending this conference. I think there is a huge amount of different fields uh, dealing with uh, plant biology. I hear on this conference um, there are a lot of very nice uh, lectures, uh, especially keynote lectures, uh, which really uh, affected me and inspired my next research. 
So I have to say that I am really very, very happy to be here and to be a member of this conference. I uh, would like to thank the organizers for very nice organization from the start till the end. So I'm happy to be here. This conference and really it's very beneficial for everyone to attend it.